Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm John Davis. In this video, I'm going to teach you something very effective, very simple, and it's going to be a nice quick one. I'm going to show you how to add links into your video descriptions in YouTube. Now, this can be really good for pushing people towards other videos and keeping them on YouTube, which YouTube loves, or it can be used to point people at your website and start building your email list or even promoting affiliate offers to try and make some money. So we're going to jump into it in two seconds, but let me just explain a couple of things. So the reason I'm creating this video is because a friend asked me the other day, how do I add a link into my YouTube video description? They were pretty embarrassed asking me this as well because they thought it was too basic a question. So I just want to reassure you that there's no such thing as a basic question. You don't know what you don't know. Now, before I show you these really simple steps, there's something I need you to understand. YouTube for me is the best platform out there for creating content. Each time you publish a video, it's like creating digital real estate. That's why you see some of these videos that are five years on and they're still top of the results. It's not like some other platforms where it's constantly putting new content always to the top. A good video will get traffic for a long time. So it's important to be able to maximize that traffic and to guide your audience, whether it's to other videos or back to your website, whatever it is that you want to do, whatever the next step in your process is, it's important that we do that right. And one of the ways we do that is by adding links into the description. Now, if you could do me a favor, if you get anything out of this video, could you just hit the like button? And it just gives me a little bit of encouragement and it helps me create more videos in order to simplify tech and get you unstuck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually do this with a brand new video. It's just as simple to edit an existing video if you wanna go back over your back catalog, but we'll do a brand new one. So we're just gonna upload the actual video file. And I'm gonna use this little test file that I've got here. Now, I don't know if anyone is used to the old classic uploader from YouTube. Let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer the old classic way or do you prefer the new way? I much prefer the old classic way myself, but I'm slowly getting used to this way as well. So this is where you'd fill in your normal details. And we're going to keep this fairly basic. Now, your description box here is exactly where we want to put this link. Now, as you can see, it's quite a compact area. There's not a lot of room to move in. Um, so what I sometimes do is I actually have a bit of a template that I keep in my Google Drive folder. So if I just go to Google Drive at the top and you can see here, template description. So it might be worth you doing this as well if you just want to make things quicker. So I'm just gonna open this template file. So this is just a document basically that's kept in Google Drive. And sometimes I find it easier just to edit this file update the description of what the video is, update any links, and then literally copy and paste that into YouTube. But if you'd rather type it out each time, this is what I would generally do. So you could put in what the video is about, whatever you normally add to your description. Remember, this is just about how we add links, um, but let's just add a little bit of sample text. Okay, so for more information, please visit my blog. And what we do is literally just go to the web page that you want to link to. Now, this could be on your blog, it could be another video. And we're just going to go into the address bar and we're going to copy that. So, control and C if you're on a Windows machine. Or right click and copy. Then go back to our description and we're going to paste. Now, this is the important bit that you need. You need that prefix there. So, do you see where it says HTTPS? So, Generally, that will usually either be HTTP or HTTPS. Now, that's what makes it a clickable link because that's the full address and that's what YouTube can then convert into an actual link. Now, if you wanted to link to a YouTube video, we can do that just as easily as well. So we would just open the video that we wish to link, scroll down a little bit and click on this share button. Now, you can either link it to a very specific timestamp or we can just link it to the actual main video. So we're just going to copy that link. Go back to our YouTube description and just paste it in there. So either control V or right click and paste. Now it's as simple as that. That is it. We would literally add in the rest of our video details, scroll down and then click on save. Now I'm not going to save this because it's just a test video. But what I will do is I'll just quickly jump into an existing video and I'll update the description and just show you how that works. So I'm just going to go into this video here and use this as an example. So I'm in YouTube Studio at the moment. I'm just going to click on details and that should put it into edit mode. Now you can see in the description box here, I've already got a couple of uh, sample uh, links. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop into this bit. I'm just going to paste the video link there and I'm just going to do this so that I can show you. Let's open this in YouTube as well. 
so I can show you what it looks like before and after. So this is what it looks like before. If we scroll down and we've got the description here, so we'll just click on show more. So you can see there's a gap there. Now I'm just gonna show you for example purposes. Now we'll go back to this one. I'm gonna save that. Go back to our video. I'm just gonna refresh the page. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna click on show more again. And there you go, there you can see, this is the link that we've just added in. Now you can see as the mouse hovers over it, it turns into a clickable link. So that is how you do it, really straightforward, really simple, anyone can do that. It's more or less just copying and pasting the actual web addresses. Make sure it's got that prefix on, HTTP or HTTPS. Copy that into your description and save it. And you just need to put a call to action around that then, such as watch this video, go check out my blog article. Whatever the goal of that link is, tell them exactly what they need to do so that they go and do it. I hope that helps. I'm going to leave a couple more videos on the screen now that will also help you with your YouTube venture. Good luck. Any questions that you've got, let me know and it'll help me create further content as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.